The final frontier, humanity's greatest challenge, Mars. For centuries we've stared up at the stars but now for the first time, we're closer than ever to stepping foot on another planet. But how close are we really to making Mars our second home? In this video we'll explore the cutting-edge technologies, the monumental challenges, and the audacious plans to colonize the Red Planet. Let's dive into the future of space travel. You might be wondering, why Mars? After all, there are closer destinations like the Moon. But Mars has something other celestial bodies don't, it's the most Earth-like planet in our solar system. Mars has a day similar in length to Earth's, a surface we can stand on, and polar ice caps that may hold water. It's also rich in natural resources including the potential for oxygen production from its atmosphere. But don't be fooled, it's far from a paradise. No conversation about Mars can begin without mentioning SpaceX. Founded by Elon Musk, this company has made Mars colonization its primary mission. Musk believes that humans must become a multi-planetary species to ensure our survival. SpaceX's Starship is designed to be the vehicle that will carry the first humans to Mars. On the other hand, NASA's missions including the Perseverance rover, have been laying the groundwork for Mars exploration testing new technologies that will one day enable human presence on Mars. To colonize Mars we need some serious technology. The journey itself is one of the biggest hurdles. A one-way trip to Mars takes about six to nine months. That's where SpaceX's Starship comes in. Designed to carry over 100 passengers, it's a fully reusable spacecraft capable of making the interplanetary journey. But landing on Mars is just the beginning. Once there, We'll need life support systems, habitats that can withstand radiation, and ways to produce food and water. One promising technology is in-situ resource utilization, or ISRU, which means using Mars's own resources to sustain life. NASA is already testing devices like MOXIE, which converts Martian carbon dioxide into oxygen. Similar systems could be scaled up to support entire colonies. Mars may look beautiful from afar but living there is a different story. The planet is cold, very cold. Average temperatures on Mars are around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Its atmosphere is 100 times thinner than Earth's, making it impossible to breathe without life support systems. Radiation from the sun and cosmic rays is another major concern, as Mars lacks a magnetic field to protect us. Building shelters that can protect humans from this radiation is a top priority. Terraforming Mars Fact or Fiction Then there's the grand question, can we terraform Mars? Terraforming refers to transforming Mars' environment to make it more Earth-like. Some scientists believe it's possible, using advanced technologies we could thicken the atmosphere, warm the planet, and even create oceans. However, this is a long-term vision that could take hundreds if not thousands of years. For now, colonization will rely on high-tech solutions rather than transforming the planet itself. The psychological and physical toll on humans. We can't forget the human element. Spending months, possibly years on Mars will put a tremendous strain on both the body and the mind. Prolonged exposure to low gravity can weaken bones and muscles. Isolation from Earth with limited communication and no quick return could lead to severe psychological challenges. NASA and SpaceX are both conducting studies to understand the impact on the human body using simulations like the high seas missions in Hawaii. Timeline. When will we get there? So, how close are we to colonizing Mars? Elon Musk has an ambitious timeline, predicting that humans could set foot on Mars as early as the 2030s. NASA, on the other hand, is more cautious, estimating that a crewed mission could take place by the late 2030s or early 2040s. While the exact date remains uncertain, one thing is clear, we're closer than ever before. What happens next? The journey to Mars will be one of the greatest adventures humanity has ever embarked on. But this isn't just science fiction anymore. Every day we're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, from building spacecraft capable of interplanetary travel to designing habitats that could sustain human life on Mars. The future of space travel is here, and it's leading us straight to the Red Planet. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the future of space travel. What do you think? Will humanity make it to Mars in the next decade? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos exploring the cutting edge of science and technology.